Good morning, friends. This is John Hamill again for another morning melody. And you knew that it was going to come, my favorite hymn of all time. And I figured it would be a good day to try this. Uh, today is my birthday. And uh, this song became my favorite back in 2009 when I was in the hospital. And I uh, had my computer there, and I happened to stumble upon the cathedrals singing this hymn, a cappella. And it just touched my heart, and it has encouraged me. It was written in 1917 by a man named Haldor Lilanus. And he settled in uh, a community in Auburn, Illinois. And after uh, buying a house in a nearby community, he didn't have very much money left. And he and his wife were both hymn writers. They couldn't afford a piano. And so they bought this wheezy little organ from a neighbor for $5. And that wheezy little organ put out a lot of great hymns, including this one, Wonderful Grace of Jesus. It has been used in many evangelistic crusades by Mr. Lilinus and uh, many others, Charles Alexander, to, for an example. And it's very simple. No matter what sin that you've committed, God's grace is deeper. It reminds me of uh, Corey Ten Boom when she said that no matter how deep you go, God's love is deeper still. So it's the same with God's grace. So here is Wonderful Grace of Jesus. of Jesus reaching the most defiled by its transforming power making him God's dear child purchasing peace and heaven for all eternity for the wonderful grace of Jesus reaches me Wonderful the matchless grace of Jesus, deeper than the mighty rolling sea. Wonderful grace, all sufficient for me, for even me. Broader than the scope of my transgressions, greater far than all my sin and shame. Oh, magnify the precious name of Jesus, praise him. Name. Praise his name indeed, my friends. I hope you have a great day today. And remember that God's grace is deeper than any sin that you could ever commit. Lord willing, we'll see you here again tomorrow for another morning melody. Mm -hmm.